All Wilsdon Judo Club's hard work has paid off. Their top fighters have been given places on British Judo's elite training programme for 2012 hopefuls. From today on, they're going to be full-time athletes. But there is one notable absentee. Ashley hasn't turned up. In bed, I think. Shane and him are both in bed. And they owe me money. <laughs> for them just to cast it aside because they want to want to pop out for an evening. I think it's a little irresponsible. I'm disappointed that they're not taking advantage of it um, because I think this is the start of them actually working towards Olympic medals in 2012. And if they mess it up too much, the day will come where they can't fix it. So cold, bro. In Wilsdon, Ashley's mum has given him an ultimatum. Five minutes started yesterday. He had two choices. You either be an 18-year-old, get yourself a job, pay rent, and do all the things that an 18-year-old would do, or you stick with the sport and do it for the four years. Uh, he actually chose the judo, and the reason why he chose judo because he said he spent too many years doing it, and financially, it's cost us a lot of money. So I think his reward is to get the get to 2012, hopefully win the gold medal and the, and the million pound that goes with it. <laughs> I'm just glad and touch wood that Ashley's picked the right path. For a boy who's been in trouble all his life, keeping the discipline necessary to be an elite athlete is going to be tough. You know, I see you lot and you, you've got very definite styles of fighting. You know, Ashley finds it quite difficult to sustain his workload if, it, if it's going day after day after day. So this new setup will really test that for him. Um, I hope he'll be able to fall into it as we're only starting with three days a week instead of five. Um, but this will be quite a challenge for him just to sustain the work ethic. So far, he's done one day out of two, so <laughs> we're at 50%. Come on. But Ashley's behaviour is already an issue. A joke has got out of hand. And he's risen to the bait. Ashley! OK, come round. Come round. That's too much. And actually, just by laughing at it, you're encouraging it. OK, let's get going, because I'm pissed off now. Off you go, jogging round. He sees things black and white. Does that make sense or go and stop? He doesn't see anything in between. I've seen lots of times. I try my hardest when I'm there, but then at times it just comes out like I don't even know what I'm like, doing myself. Ashley could become Britain's first ever Judo Olympic gold medalist, but only if he manages to keep his behaviour in check. This is a huge challenge, particularly as his mum has made a tough decision about his treatment for ADHD, which helps control his behaviour. Being that he was so good at, at a sport, I had to take Ashley off the medication because the medication that he was on was going to be a banned substance. We've got to set the right tone for this place, really, right from the start. We really can't have that sort of thing going on. The next few months will be make or break for Ashley. This is a little bit bigger than that. For, for you lot, this is really about getting the most out of this year and these camps. And it's important for me because I'm his mum, but it's, it's got to be important for him. Because no disrespect, he's the one who's out there throwing people, I'm not. I'm just sitting down and watching him. You know, it's, it's Ashley that's got to put in the hard work. It's Ashley's got to do the commitment for four years. Yeah, to me, like, four nights is quite hard for me not to go out, so four years, it's going to kill me, man. It's killing me, man. To find out more about becoming or coaching an Olympic hopeful, go to www.bbc.co.uk forward slash Olympic Dreams. Facing seven years behind bars, Ed Norton takes stock of his life on his last day of freedom. 25th Hour is our movie, next on BBC One. And so, the race began. This is the clash of the Titans now. 
it's going down to the wire again. Available to watch now at bbc.co.uk forward slash iPlayer. BBC iPlayer, making the unmissable...